Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to add color to a black and white photo. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up your black and white photo and here I have a photo of Alicia Silverstone and that I'm going to be adding color to during this tutorial. And the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to image mode and make sure that your mode is RGB color. Now come down to your original copy of the photo and duplicate it. Now grab your lasso tool and make a selection of the part that you want to color first. I'm going to start by coloring her skin. Now when you're making a selection it doesn't have to be perfect because you will be deleting or erasing any XX color. Now that we have our selection, hold control J and this will put your selection on its own layer. Now hold control again, this time hit U and this will bring up the hue and saturation to give your selection some color. Now make sure colorized is checked and just play around with the colors until you get one that you really like and that you want to keep on your photo. good and you can even come up to image adjustments and play around with the levels to make it darker or lighter or have more contrast that's good now grab your eraser tool and just erase any of the XX color that's on any other part that you don't want but don't erase too close to the edges because we'll, we will be deleting that with a lower opacity. Okay, now that we've deleted some, go up to the opacity and bring it down to about 50. And erase more towards the edges. This way it won't, it will look more kind of blending than anything else. Now that we have our skin, we'll grab our lasso tool again and make sure you are on the original photo and select the hair. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And just go around the hair. Just like that. Once again, hold Control J to put on its own layer. Now grab that new layer and bring it all the way to the top. Hold Control U and pick the color that you want. That's good. Grab your uh, eraser tool and erase go back to the opacity and bring it back to 100 and just erase around and bring that black back that you had before you added any color just go around and erase 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 now yours will look better than mine because I'm trying to rush the tutorial here and just get this black back in there I know you can see some gray but that's okay for mine um, now that you have your hair colored you can go back to image and adjustments and play around with the levels make it darker or make it lighter brighter it's good now go back to your skin layer and you can see that her eyes are the same exact color and you don't want that so grab your eraser tool and just erase around the eyes make sure your opacity is 100 percent that's good now grab your lasso tool once again and go around those eyes to make a selection 
and go back to the original copy make sure the original copy is clicked on and hit control J bring this layer all the way to the top once again control U and play around with the colors here I will use a nice a nice blue just erase around the edges and zoom in and make sure you erase the edges and inside where the pupil is Now that you have your some sort of color on your photo, you can just go to keep making selections and keep hitting Control U to change the saturation and hue and add color to your photo. And this is my finished product. My before, my after. And this is just simply making a selection with your lasso tool and hitting control J making it on to its own layer and then hitting control U to bring color into it and changing the levels and it's really 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 simple uh, but if you have any questions just message me or to tell me what you have problems with and I'll be glad to help thanks for watching